Hi, my name is Sjoerd de Vries and in this third tutorial about the Rapid uh, Recorder, as we call it Smear Recorder, um, I am in the role as the Uperform author who received the document from the SME. So the process was the Uperform author or an admin assigns a task. The next step in the process will be that the SME receives an email notification, opens the email and install the application, the, the Rapid Recorder application and records the topic and check it in. And the third step in the process is that you as an Uperform author um, uh, download that document because it's checked in on the Uperform server and usually you do not have that on your PC. So you just open Uperform, you log in as a Uperform author, browse through your appropriate project folder like productivity kit tips here and you can see here that the document it's already been there because it's a UDT file. It has a translation in it, an English one. So you can see that the first version is available here. You can see the task here. And um, you can publish it, change the owner, but also get the latest version. And this is the normal procedure from retrieving simulations from the Uperform server that is not on your system. Of course, there's another option to open the Uperform client first and then browse to the content that's another option but it's not normal that's all just normal procedure so you save it in a specific location for example i create a folder and save it there and after i save it i can open it so a Uperform author has the full client installed, so it will also be opened in the full client where it can be edited. Um, as you can see here, the SME just clicked in the application and instead of deleting it, uh, I usually use this for the start screen. So I can create a start screen uh, bubble. like this, make this one a little bit bigger and I can also delete then the first tab. So this would be my start screen with some explanation um, and actually you proceed like you normally do this with your own simulations, you just browse through the application. As you can see here there is already a note attached which is recorded by the SME. Um, and you just look if the buttons are correct here. This was an extra step that can be deleted. You just browse through it. As you can see here, something happens and maybe the SME tells you that something went wrong. So you can delete steps that were wrong. And always better too much steps than too less because it's very easy to change it. So this is actually the simulation. At the end there was a specific note. I just clicks on it to make sure that it was in that screen. So also here you can make this one an explanation screen. If you have an explanation screen without any information, make sure that the user knows how to proceed, for example, by pressing enter or click, something like this. And actually that's it. So then you can just save it, check in your file and proceed with publishing. Another option could be um, to publish this simulation as uh, uh, as a Word document where you can ask the SME to provide additional information uh, where you type in this information to a SME. It's not possible that you give this simulation back to the SME to edit it because the Rapid Recorder is only meant for recording simulations. So now you can work with the SME 
in a normal way by publishing this to Word, PowerPoint, and ask some feedback. And proceed with the yeah, normal procedures to enhance the simulation. Thanks for your attendance, and this was the third simulation.